Welcome to Simply Holy, the podcast for people who want to live a joyful life in Christ. I'm Marge Steinhag Fenlon. My friends, a little while ago, I tweeted this. It's vital that we keep our heads on straight, even though everyone around us is losing theirs. Keep your eyes on the cross, folks. When I tweeted that, when I posted that on Twitter, I it was a spontaneous reaction to what I had seen in my news feed. And what I had seen was chaos, division, hatred, retaliation, assumption, accusations, on and on and on. It seemed to me at that moment that everybody was losing their heads. The world is going crazy. It seemed like no one was really thinking rationally, but merely lashing out and and acting out of their own their own insecurities. And so I tweeted that because because no matter what happens, no matter how crazy the people around us get, or the people in the news or in our city, whatever the case may be, no matter how crazy things may get, we can't get crazy with them. We can't allow ourselves to fall into that craziness. We have to keep our heads on straight. And how do we do that? Well, we, we can do that because, because as Christians, we understand the meaning and the weight of the cross. And I use that, that term weight with double meaning. Okay, keep your eyes on the cross. What is the cross? It, the cross is our salvation. You know, Jesus... Jesus knows we have free will. So all of this this craziness that's going on around us, even though we think that there are very dangerous things going on, deadly things going on, even though we think we know what should be done about it, and I would venture a guess that perhaps you've been wondering, why does God allow this? Why does God allow all this? Well, my friends, we have to remember that God gave us free will. Every single human being, ever created or whoever will be created is given the gift of free will. Why does God do that? Because he wants us to love him and to follow his commandments of our own free will. He doesn't want to force us to obey him. He doesn't want to use coercion to get us into heaven. He wants that we freely choose him. We freely choose to follow him. And so think of this. No matter how crazy things are or how people are losing their heads around you, remember that Jesus saw all of this from the cross. He saw all of this from the cross. Can you imagine how hmm, distressing painful that must have been for him and yet he willingly he lovingly endured all of that suffering the torture the crucifixion even before that the false accusations i mean he he dealt with so much why because he knew that all of these terrible things, all of the sins of mankind had to be paid for. And let me tell you that if we had to pay for our own sins, it would be, I don't know that we would be capable, really. But God, Jesus, Jesus is God. And he was fully capable and willing to endure that suffering. Those sins must be paid for, and he paid the price for you, for me, for everyone. You know, Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. Now, he's not talking about a temporary thing. So he's not talking about, yeah, carry a burden for a little while, and then then you can set it aside and all is good. Now, what he really meant from the, the, the time of your birth to the day that you die, the moment of your last breath, He's asking you, carry your cross alongside of me. Carry your cross alongside of me. 
What is your cross? What is my cross? Our crosses are the, the things that God has given us in his wisdom that we must endure. That the suffering, that the various trials, the hardships, the sorrows, those are all part of our cross. And so we need to carry them alongside of Jesus for the sake of accompanying him, for the sake of our own salvation, because we join in his suffering. We walk along beside him, carrying our own cross. And I can guarantee you that Jesus' cross is a whole lot heavier than yours or mine or anyone else's. Far, far heavier. The, the, the weight of the cross that we bear is nothing compared to the weight of the cross that Jesus bore. So for, as crazy as the world seems right now, as much as that weighs on us, Jesus is carrying the heavier portion of that load. He's got it. He's got it. He's got this all in his hand, in his control, in the sense that he will not allow anything to happen that doesn't ultimately end up in our greater good. It's hard to imagine sometimes when we see really terrible things happen, but we have to believe. Keep your eyes on the cross, folks. That's why I wrote that. We have to believe that there is a reason. There is an ultimate solution for everything that's going on. Yeah, it may be very, very tough to endure. It may be incredibly confusing and, and discouraging, I'm sure. But we can't get caught up in the craziness. You see, as soon as we get caught up in that craziness, we've lost it. We've taken our eyes from the cross and we're focusing it instead on human frailty, human failure, human sinfulness. That's not going to help anything. That's not going to help us keep our, our peace. It's not going to help us continue to carry our cross alongside of our Lord. Take up your cross and follow me. Accept these crosses. You know, even though it's something that's not help, happening to us directly, because we know of it, because it bothers us, this is also part of our cross. So we need to approach these things carefully and rationally. We've got to keep our heads on straight. And we can't ever, ever forget to keep our eyes on the cross and remember that no matter what happens, our Lord is there beside us. He's carrying his cross right beside us through everything that's going on. So just don't lose it. Don't lose it. I have to remind myself of this as well. Because I do. I get upset. I get upset when I see the headlines. Of course I do. I'm human. But I can't allow myself, nor can you, we can't allow ourselves to get lost in that and turn into hateful creatures who, who lash out and, and look for revenge or looking to, to crush the other person. That's, first of all, on a very basic level, that's not helpful. It's not helpful to the situation. So definitely not helpful to us because anger only makes us not only spiritually and emotionally sick, but it can make us physically sick. And we don't want that. God doesn't want that for us. So I'm not saying to just shrug your shoulders and say, well, yeah, Jesus got that. It, it, that's, not, that's not my point. My point is this. You have great power over these situations in that you have the ability, as long as you keep your head on straight, keep your eyes on the cross, you have the ability to offer, a, offer that suffering up to our Lord. You have the ability, and, and I, would, uh, I would think, I'd like to say the obligation. You have that gift of being able to pray for that situation, that person, ask God's mercy over everyone involved, or ask 
God's assistance, if it's a, some kind of a, a calamity or disaster, you have that ability. You're not powerless. You're carrying your cross alongside of Jesus. And part of that cross now is that if you know of this situation, you are called to pray for it. Maybe you might even be moved to, to fast or do some other kind of sacrifice for the resolution of of that situation, for the the benefit of people involved, for someone else who is suffering terribly. You know, we're not helpless. Keep your eyes on the cross, and these things will come naturally for you. And you'll feel much less burdened. You will feel joy in walking along beside Jesus as he carries his cross and you carry yours. You'll feel a peace. You'll feel a peace knowing that you are participating in God's divine plan in your own small way. So it's vital. It's vital that we keep our heads on straight, even though everyone around us is losing theirs. Keep your eyes on the cross, folks. That's my message for you today. I hope that it gives you some joy and encouragement. I will be praying for you. I pray for all of my listeners, all of my readers, every single day. So I'll be praying for you. And hey, you know what? Pray for me. Let's pray for each other in these very tough times. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please do me a favor and like this podcast, subscribe, and share it with others. And please check out my website, margefenelin.com. My books are there. My blog is there. You can find out how to book me for a speaking engagement. You can find out about life coaching with me for personal and spiritual growth. I have lots of great information there, my other videos and podcasts. Lots of good stuff at margefenelin.com. Thank you so much, my friend, and may God bless you.